Welcome to the NHL 19 Guide to Breakaways. Something we like to do at the start of every year on this channel. This is brought to you by PK Subban and I, who is godlike on breakaways. He's over. Subban's back on. PK Subban scores! So now tell me, when do you ever see PK Subban on a breakaway? Fitting that he's the cover boy this year because that's about as often as you're going to be on a breakaway in NHL 19 compared to previous years. Maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but it's much harder to actually get breakaways this year as the AIs, they're going to play a lot more defensively, a lot more passively. They're not going to let you blow right by them as easily. The only breakaways that I really see are if you have a significantly higher overall player or if the human player that you're playing against makes a mistake regardless i'm going to get you guys prepared for when those breakaways do happen like every year i go into practice mode i do it on the hardest difficulty play against a solid goalie in net in this case brayden holtby is the backup goalie for canada that's why i chose team canada if i chose an nhl team the backups they would not be nearly as good and it would be a lot easier to score on them so we want to get rid of that and we chose the worst player on team canada by overall which is duncan keith great defensive player but not a great dangler not a great shooter and we took a thousand shots in practice mode one-on-one -on -one free skate there's so many goals scored it looks like the score was 25 to 21 but no those are triple digits the last thing before we get into breakaway moves i need to show you guys this little diagram you see when it comes to breakaway goals, you don't want to just have one way to score because you have to get into a specific position and go a specific direction to do your move. You need to have options. That's why I created this so that no matter how you're approaching the goalie, whatever angle it is, however it is, you'll always have a breakaway move that you can do. You don't want to be approaching on the backhand when you only know how to score on the forehand because you're going to be completely lost. So that's my goal every year to show you guys the four different ways that you can score on a breakaway. Let's bring in the numbers just in case you don't know how to count. Or maybe you're colorblind and you thought they were all the same color. I don't know. We're going to start with this move that completely embarrasses the goalie. I don't know what he's doing, why he's chasing you, but I score on this move three times in a row. Much of it really comes down to your person's shooting accuracy because they're going to miss the net pretty often doing this. This move is on your forehand and you're pretty much going in a straight line to the side of the goalie. It works on both sides. If you're a righty, you can do it on the right. It'll be the same. Let's go into instant replay so I can show you my motions i'm going full speed with the left stick to the left of the goalie and then i press and hold lt or l2 depending on the console that causes me to do this half spin and then a short moment later i aim bottom right and shoot this may take a little bit of practice you may have to do a little bit but you'll notice that you're getting pretty close as you're doing it because the goalie again is just going to keep chasing you let's slow this down so you can see the exact moment that i press lt and it's going to be around the hash marks, basically the equal signs connecting to the circle. I see the goalie move with me, and that's the time to shoot. Now you're probably wondering, does this work the other way? The answer is kinda. You can definitely still pull it off, but it is, seems significantly harder. I guess I'm just going to base that off the fact that I was far more successful doing it the opposite way. This time you're approaching the goalie side on your backhand. And as soon as you hit those hash marks, you hold LT, L2, whatever. And you're going to shoot a little bit quicker, but this time to the left instead of to the right. You're still shooting far side in this case. I shot a little bit higher than I wanted to underneath the goalie's armpit, but... It worked out here's another angle so i'm moving forward as soon as i do the half spin that is when i move my left stick to the left and then push up on the right stick now here on brian swim's youtube channel i'm a fan of giving you guys options we already went over that you guys need to have options but now you have options within those options so a variation of just moving in a straight line to the side of the goalie is doing the between the legs shot as you're doing that the goalie is going to chase you the same exact way, but a major problem with this move is if you're using low overall players, 
you're going to lose the puck while trying to do the move or you're going to miss the net. So if you're playing versus, I probably wouldn't recommend this move, but in Hockey Ultimate Team, when you start to build a better team, maybe 90 plus overalls, I'm willing to bet you're going to see this move pretty often. You can also do it the other way, just like the first move I showed you guys. It appears you do have to wait until after the hash marks instead of doing it as you hit the hash marks. But again, the way you do it is you move straight forward right after the hash marks, you press left bumper or or L1, you hold on to that and push the right stick in to go between the legs and then simply push up on the right stick while aiming at the empty net. And then here's just a different angle of it in case you guys don't understand just how overpowered this is because like I said, the goalie chases the hell out of you. A lot of people might think that this is cheating, but the way that I look at it is your opponent has given you a breakaway, a high scoring chance that goes in, let's say like maybe 50% of the time. I don't really know the exact numbers, but it's a high scoring opportunity and the way that you defend it is you don't let it happen. At the same time, I don't know if it's the easiest thing in the world. Two years ago, we had people doing a toe drag and that was the easiest thing in the world where you just scored just by doing a counterclockwise motion with your right stick. You didn't even need to be skilled at the game to do that. Here, you actually need to know different little buttons such as backscanning revision control or going between the legs. Anyways, let's move on. At this time, I want to let you guys know about my channel. If you haven't been subscribed to it, you have absolutely been missing out. As over the past two years, I've been making videos helping people become better at the NHL series, starting with NHL 17, going into NHL 18. I've also been teaching people how to make coins on the auction house. This year, there's certainly going to be more of that, so stay tuned. Also, this move uh, works like once in a lifetime, 1% chance, so we're not going to teach it on the breakaway but you guys will be taught how to do this in my deking video coming out later in the year it's the same as angel 18 though so if you've done it over there well you can probably do it again now on to the next set of breakaway moves if you're struggling to do any of my breakaway moves this is probably going to be the easiest one that you could do it's called the pullout method or pullback method whatever it's not as successful as the other moves i've shown you but if you don't like to do more than just move your left and right stick, this is the move that you should be doing. I simply cut across in front of the goalie and I pull back on my right stick. Make sure you're not just pushing down on the right stick, but rather you're pulling it to the left or to the right, depending on which side's your forehand, and then moving that right stick downward so that it looks exactly like this. Your body is between the puck and the goalie, also pulling back a little bit on the left stick while skating to the left, and then you aim to the top left while taking the shot. This has been a popular move pretty much over the past four years since uh, NHL has been on this new generation of consoles it returns this year but it's not as effective as my other moves it is however one of the easiest things that you could do the other moves kind of just make it look easy the next move that's done in a similar motion is the one-handed tuck you can make this look like it took a lot of skill when in fact it does not this is a really popular move in ea sports hockey league when people get penalty shots this is all that they do so again you approach the goalie from your backhand side instead of pulling all the way back on your forehand you just pull it to the side and then as you're skating diagonal to the goalie right in front of him, you push LB and RB at the same time or L1 and R1. As you see, I try to time the text so that it shows up right as you're supposed to press it. This move, in my opinion, has also been nerfed since uh, last year. There seems to be a much smaller window that's available to you for you to do this move. And it really looks like the goalie can make the save if he's just like half a second quicker. That's why I feel like maybe this is going to be the weakest breakaway move on my list this next one's easy too except for the fact that it only works against weak goalies if you're playing against uh some high rated goalies i try to do this against holtby and he gloved me every time but weaker goalies what happens here is the goalie is gonna move out of the way for you and then is forced to quickly make a glove save while he's moving because what we do is we skate towards the circle and then cut to the middle while taking a shot short side. It's available to you. I found it work very often against Howard, I believe, that I'm uh, playing against here. But I wouldn't rely on it too, too much. Up next is one of my favorites, and it's when you're going the opposite way. You're on your forehand cutting across the middle. What I do is I hold LT or L2, which again does the half spin like the first breakaway move, and then you pull back on the right stick at the same time 
time so that the goalie goes with you and then you just shoot it low at the empty net. If you've been watching my channel for the past two years, I showed this move off before, but I've never actually done it on a breakaway. And this is the year to do it on the breakaway because a lot of those other moves, uh, they don't work. They don't work very consistently. You might be able to score on them like maybe one out of four times, but these moves that I'm showing you, you can score on them very consistently if you do them right. So we're cutting across pretty far away from the goalie, I would say. And the only time you're you're really changing your left stick movements is when you're aiming to the left down low right before you shoot but yeah those are my breakaway moves this year that I spent hours trying to figure out this year is a very tough year for breakaways but allow me to spend enough time in practice mode and I will break this game apart the last thing I want to share is sometimes every year people ask me but does it actually work in the middle of the game my answer is yes Yes, it does. If it's not working for you, then you're probably just a tiny bit off in the timing or in the move or in your position, which can certainly make a difference. Again, with this video, I've made it easy for you guys to actually score on the breakaway, but generating the breakaway is definitely the challenge this year. I'm gonna do my best to solve the AI, to solve the defense, so you don't have to cherry pick or just sit by the blue line if you wanna get breakaways. Stay tuned for those videos and more only on my channel.